Uh, the Rebel Alliance, of course, uh, could not have defeated this guy, the, the evil empire, without the Ewoks. That's a fact. Anyway, the Westminster Dog Show starts this Monday night just down the block from us right here at Madison Square Garden. Where do you go from there? You go? No, you go to? to the Russia. Kremlin. That's where. Appropriately, we do go to the Kremlin because apparently a, uh, a cover group of the group ABBA, they're called Bjorn again, played at a very secret, undercover party in Russia. Tell us about it, Clayton. Who they was were there? imported. I'm not Clayton, but I must say they were imported from London, Bjorn again, because Vladimir Putin loves ABBA. ABBA. This but the is a best secret he doesn't want out. He doesn't want this story out because it's not as manly as he would have us believe he is. Look at him there doing jujitsu yeah. or whatever, taekwondo or whatever it was. I couldn't tell. I think he is a jujitsu guy. Of course, he was in the KGB. He was the head of the KGB, yeah, wasn't he, he? He's like the ultimate strong man. Like oh, that's the image he wants to convey. That he is hands. like the manly man strong man but Clayton in his best Russian accent is gonna have to describe or read the statement from them Do you have that the denies statement? the allegation right here this is the allegation from the from the Kremlin this is the quote from the Kremlin because they don't want it and we think that he's uh, less than yes. a man I can tell you officially and for sure Vladimir Putin would never took part in any concert of any kind here in Russia well done. done. Was that was that somewhat that was of a, like I, I a don't Turkish know. I'm accent? I'm not sure how we feel about that. Russia. Sort of, they work. As you read on, though, the Kremlin does admit that Putin is very into ABBA and at times rocks out to songs "Super Trooper" and "Dancing Queen." So they did admit he's a big fan. At times, rocks out. I love how and this is state business there. Bjorn again. The band does say that they flew from London to Moscow and then nine-hour bus a, ride. I took a nine-hour bus ride where they performed. For for eight people, a man who looked exactly like Vladimir Putin, <laughs> yes. a blonde, and a blonde woman, and six guys in tuxedos. Listen what to this, though. We are burying, we are burying the lead because this, to me, is the best part of the story. Okay. Eyewitnesses report that Putin did, in fact, attend this ABBA show, and he, he they said that there was clapping and there was a lot of swaying. Oh. I, I can understand that. There was a lot of putting their fingers in the air. Maybe and perhaps and their arms are in the air. I guess waving them as they just don't care. And then they were sway back and forth. And then the eyewitness says he Putin had good rhythm, and he was shouting Bravo, Bravo. There he is, and that's what he looked like last night <laughs> at the Abba show. We have to get Bjorn again on the show because how much did they fear for their lives as they sat up there right. jamming out those classic tunes? All right, let's get to a story that is near and dear to my heart: women and driving.